Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. It's Easter, it's Easter weekend, it's Good Friday, it's a bank holiday and it's very warm today, I have to admit, it's really, really warm. Easter is one of my favourite times of the year and do you know what, I say that probably about Christmas, summer holidays, spending time with family, all lovely, lovely times. Um, but you know what, it might sound a little bit cheesy, but any time I spend with my family, especially my mum, my dad, my brothers, my nieces, my nephews, and my lovely nan, um, very, very dear to my heart. Um, but yeah, any excuse to spend time with family is amazing, but more so at these times like Easter and Christmas. And whether you spend it, um, do you know what, doing your favourite things, eating chocolate with your feet up all day long, sitting out in the sun, or doing your favourite things, sharing a nice glass of something with somebody of an afternoon, perhaps even afternoon tea. Easter, doing it what you want to do is probably the most magical thing at these times, such as like Easter, birthdays, Christmas. Of course, it is a troubling time at the moment for everybody. It's really uncertain times we live in and it's quite scary and frightening. So whatever you do, stay positive, stay strong and all stay together. Staying connected is the most thing we all need to do at the moment at this time. Easter is amazing. Whether you celebrate it from a religious aspect, if you have, a, uh, if you if you follow religion, if you, of course, with the celebration or the rising of Jesus Christ, and of course the the Easter story, um, which of course I will have to admit I do have, um, that is something quite close to me. Uh, I I do, I do turn to prayer sometimes I have to admit I do believe in God um, and I'm, I'm quite proud of that aspect at all I think I get that from my nan um, and and that's something very very dear to my heart as well so Easter has that 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 poignant sort of uh, moment for me um, and of course it will do for many others as well I'm not a hugely religious person but it is it is certainly there and it's something which I find quite heartwarming especially in these troublesome times as well. Easter, of course, can be lovely for so many things and is different for every one of us and every family will celebrate it differently. Growing up, Easter was always all of our family around the table. My nan, my special nan, was around for dinner every Easter Sunday. She would have us gifts. She'd buy my mum flowers, my, my dad a gift. We would have gifts for her and in my family we exchange gifts. I've bought my mum and dad gifts, my brothers, my nieces, my nephew, Easter cards, the whole shebang. Absolutely love it. Um, and yeah, we all do. Easter is, is really special, as special as Christmas actually. Um, and we have all these special foods and, and different luxuries and, and, it, and it's just lovely spending time together as well. Of course, some people will do something completely different, which of course is fine. Everybody celebrates Easter differently. And of course, more so than ever now, um, Easter will really, really be affected. Um, of course, it's really sad, but what you have to think is we have to all try and take the positives out of this as well. Of course, if our families are not together, it doesn't mean to say we can't stay connected. More than ever now, with the advances in technology, huge, we can stay connected through phones, tablets, and you can still be there. And you know what? Stay connected. Um, Never take for granted that you can't be there with somebody um, in any situation. For example, my nan, who has advanced Alzheimer's, I'm very, very close to her. She's very, very dear to my heart. She's my mum's mum, and we're all extremely close. Um, and I can still, the, the people who look after my nan will still put the phone to my nan's ear, and I can still tell her how much I love her. And you know what? In the last couple of days from her, I've got, take care, love you. That's my Easter gift there, to be able to get that through. And you'd never think ordinarily that you would get somebody of my nan's illness and the stage she's at in her illness to be able to understand on a phone. Doors open, doors close with dementia, as I'm sure a lot of people will know. But it just goes to show that never, never sort of judge a situation. Never think that oh, that person's busy. They won't want to know or, oh, it's that time in the evening. Forget it. Do it. You will love it. Just do it. Make the time. Easter more so than ever, and especially because of the times we're going through all together at the moment. Of course, Easter, you have the, the Easter trails, of course, with the, the Easter egg hunt. If you can still do that in your family home, um, of course, the garden, how lovely, the weather being really, really nice as well. Who doesn't love the Easter bunny with the chocolate Easter eggs? Absolutely amazing. Do you know what? This is going to sound really traditional. I love Seminole cake. Of course, with the marzipan toasted on the top with the 12 balls of uh, marzipan on the top, representing, I believe, the 12 disciples of Jesus. Um, 
love that absolutely love a slice of that absolutely love that we always have turkey easter which is lovely in that big family sit down meal um gifts i always send gifts to my grandparents my nan my grandma my granddad um my dad's parents and my mum's mum um Easter, absolutely amazing. Always buy gifts and things for my nieces and nephews, and and it's just really fun, really really lovely. Of course, it is different this time, uh, this this year, with how Easter is with the coronavirus. But it's so important to stay positive. We will hopefully all get through this. But I think it's so important that we spare a thought for those those poor people who have unfortunately lost their lives, bless them, and that we spare for this Easter for those families which are going through that. And my heart and my very, very best wishes goes out to them. And I can't imagine what they must be going through. And of course, each day we're hearing more and more horrific things. And I think it's just really important that we take the time, especially more so than ever this Easter with everything what's going on, that we appreciate how... how... how all the good things in our life, that we take the time to appreciate all the good things in our life, all of the people in our life, that we show gratitude to them, we show love and that we look after one another and we're there back to back with one another and that that we just appreciate one another and that we're just there and if you see somebody who is perhaps not themselves or perhaps is different or you know that something's not quite right, take the time not perhaps in front of people, take the time, understand them, talk to them, be there for them. Easter is, of course, the representation of new life. What an Easter egg is, of course, it's representing new life. Um, of course, the rising of Jesus Christ. Um, and so many elements really hit home at Easter at the moment that, that it's such a special time, more so than ever, that we should really enjoy these things we should take so much away from what is recognized is that sometimes we take for granted these small things that actually that we really hit home to think that we are so privileged in this life and that we do have a lot to be grateful for um and spend this easter how you want to but it's so lovely to be able to make somebody's day make somebody know how much you appreciate them Tell your mum and dad you love them. Tell your grandparents you love them and, and be there and, and really do that something special um, and, and just take the time to really enjoy your time this Easter weekend or over the Easter season. And 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 yeah, just in, enjoy things, but try and t try and keep it positive. Try and keep the bad things at bay and and really send good wishes to, to, to everybody around us and, and really be there and, and stay together. Um, only just yesterday, um, on, on Thursday evenings, of course, opening that front door, standing there and clapping for our, our first line, our people on our, on our front line and people who are looking after our most vulnerable in society and, of course, our treasured NHS. How amazingly poignant for our whole my whole street was outside clapping um and that was amazing for easter to start easter in such a uh, an amazing beautiful way all together people who you've never ever spoken before sharing such a special moment and you know what that is amazing for easter yes of course um, for easter right off the top of your head springtime warmer weather of course the little tiny lambs the easter bunny chocolate all those lovely luxuries, family coming together. This year, it's a bit more. It's all those lovely things. It's new life, but it's taking the time to have that gratitude, that appreciation, that love, that family, that togetherness. But of course, being together doesn't necessarily have to be family. Making sure your neighbour's fine. If you have an elderly person on your street, making sure they're fine. Asking them, is there anything I can help you with? Do you know what? Even just smiling someone on your daily allowed um, exercise, if you go for a short walk, if somebody looks at you, say hello, say good morning, how are you? Of course, stay socially distanced, but being there for people. Isn't that just amazing for Easter? Easter is a lovely, lovely time. And do you know what? I wish you a very, very happy Easter. Of course, it's very different this year, but stay connected. Pick up that phone, keep talking, be there for one another. Tell your family and your friends you love them and that we will all get through this and we will look back on this. And do you know what? We will feel proud, I think, of our country and how we have acted with each other, with our families, and at these really, really different 
and unsettling times we live in. Um, but more so than ever, happy Easter and really, really enjoy yourselves. Do what you love and stay at home, but enjoy yourselves and and be with your family, love your family, and, and really just have an amazing, amazing, lovely time. And I'm sure we all will. Happy Easter to you. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.